Hi, welcome everyone. This is uh, Mohit Garg. I'm a senior research scientist at Alpha Star Corporation. We have a new product. It's called MCQ Composite. And as my colleague mentioned earlier, it has a lot of features in it. And here I will give you a live demo of all those features, how you can start uh, all the way to the end to come about several various features related to composite materials. Uh, in this demo, which will take about 15 minutes to cover, and I will only give quick overview of each feature. The features will be reverse engineering in situ fiber matrix material properties from ply properties. Uh, considering different fiber architectures, material nonlinearity that comes mostly from the matrix or due to crack evolving in the tension, manufacturing defects such as voids, fiber waviness, design failure envelope uh, for first ply failure and final failure, parametric carpet plot which consists for laminates with variation in the plies in different directions. Then we will move for aerospace application primarily focused for that. Uh, it's A and B allowables for different composite laminates and prediction of fatigue life for constituents fiber matrix or ply level in different loading direction or laminate level predictions. The chart that you see now is basically how MCQ Composite can help you in different aspects. On the top is a uh, simple screen snapshot of the design failure envelope. Uh, on the top right hand side is fiber architecture. We will start this demo with that. Uh, then on the lower right side you have material nonlinearity. Middle right you have manufacturing defects, fiber waviness and void shapes. Lower center you see an example for parametric carpet plot. Lower left side you see an example of predictions for A and B basis strength allowables. Left middle you see sensitivity analysis that comes as a byproduct of A and B basis allowables. And upper left corner you see snapshot for fatigue analysis where test and simulation re results are compared with each other. It also shows you input and output which you can pause the screen anytime and read more and I will show you through the demo case. The first thing that I will discuss is basically the reverse engineering of fiber and matrix property as you can see upper right hand side. To start this process as an input to the code you need minimum in plane ply properties obtained from unidirectional tape ASTM standard keep on test. Uh, and these are marked in red box on the left side of the slide you see. Also in addition you need vendor reported fiber modulus which you can find from the web link for these different vendors for example Tore. And on the right hand side is a snapshot or example of what comes out of this analysis which is in situ epoxy properties, in situ fiber properties. Also you get unknown out of plane properties that you see far right hand side column. You can also predict those. So with this I will go to our MCQ composite module and show you how it looks like. I'll switch the screen. So what you see on the screen now is basically how the MCQ module looks like. It has a tree structure on the left hand side. It, it has a description of quick help on the right hand side. It comes with a library of projects, uh, test validation for class of materials, aramid fiber, carbon fiber, glass fiber, graphite fiber, hybrids such as metal and uh, glass fibers for FML, fiber metal laminates, or just metal by itself. Each category also contains more different kind of uh, fiber matrix composites. We have plain weave T300, 914, T700, IM6, tape material IM7, and so on, 
more. So we have a mix of tape and plane waves, different temperature effects and fatigue effect uh, and so on. For glass, we have E-glass fiber, S-glass. So if you do not have any test data, you can use this as your starting point. Now, to, we also have a step-by-step -step tutorial. You can click on each of these things and individually. And on the right-hand side, it will give you a description what is the step you should take and what will be the output from it. Having said that, I'm going to move on to how you start a new project. You click on the new project analysis. You select which unit system you want to consider your analysis for. So, for example, I select millimeter second Newton for most of our European friends. Uh, next thing is you can see under input we do not have any material listed here, fiber, matrix, or even ply. You can there's nothing right now. So assuming you start with very fundamental test data for ply. So here is an example input entry for ply properties. We have already defined some samples. You can modify these values as per your test observations. These are tape unidirectional fiber ply properties obtained from five ASTM tension, longitudinal tension, longitudinal compression, transverse tension, transverse compression, and in-plane shear test data. You enter them here. You, in addition, you enter the fiber modulus from the vendor that has been reported. Approximate value of the modulus, you can leave the default if you're not aware of what, what that is for your material. Uh, fiber volume fraction, usually it is 60%. You can start with that. If you are aware that it is lower, for, for example, for many glass composite, it is lower. So you can enter that value. And you can leave the default void volume fraction. You can select from ply or carbon fiber options here. As soon as you enter, all you have to do is just run the analysis. And within a second, you get in situ fiber properties. You can see we have transverse and longitudinal both direction properties, shear modulus, Poisson ratio, and strength. Now, these are approximate values that are reverse engineered accounting for any thermal residual effects. They are slightly different from your bulk properties. Same way you can click on matrix, it reverse engineers for you the matrix modulus, Poisson ratio, and strength values assuming isotropic matrix. Fiber is assumed transversely isotropic unless you choose to go with glass fiber which is assumed isotropic also. Next thing is ply properties. We started with in-plane input, but you can see we also predict out-of-plane properties. <clears throat> Same thing for Poisson ratio and out-of-plane strength and in addition to in-plane. So this is the very primary step inside MCQ composite. You get these fiber properties and you get the matrix properties just using in-plane properties. And you export these back to the input set upper left side and same thing for matrix and you can also export the ply properties all three you can use these with other FE solvers or you can use them here for further analysis which we will show you in a little bit this is so now you have your basic ingredients to start working for composite analysis with this capability now you can define laminate layup, uh, whether it's a ply, it's a mixed layup, it's a symmetric or non-symmetric. You can add as many rows you want. You can mix different things, for instance, fiber matrix ply with ply properties, which could be of honeycomb or an isotropic material such as metal. You can mix different things. It will let you do this. Uh, it already has inbuilt failure criteria that you can select from. Uh, if you, if you want to use our recommendation, you can click on composite default, which works uh, for most of the examples in our test validation. Uh, okay. With this, I'm going to, so this was basically how we can reverse engineer fiber matrix properties using ply properties.
next thing we go back to our presentation <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to show you how you can, once you have your fiber matrix properties, you can use them as input. You can also define a braid angle for out of plane braid guards. As you see upper right hand side or a micrograph is shown in the le upper left corner of the screen. Here we will enter the fiber matrix properties we just calibrated. We define a braid card or for example if we have a stitching I'm going to use that example and the lower side were in plane stacking sequence for which stitching has been done and as an output you will get fly properties. <clears throat> so I already prepared an example before uh, so I had named my fiber as IM7 and matrix has MT45 and then I defined a braid card. This braid card is defined for fibers used for stitching quasi isotropic layer. So the layup is defined in the layup card and these are all the applies that we have. It's a quasi isotropic layup as you can see. If you want to edit anything you can always go under expression editor and modify the angles. Next thing is we're going to go under laminate analysis and we will select the braid card. You can see we have braided material here and then we run the analysis. At this point the software without using any FE solver it uses analytical approach combines the progressive failure, micromechanics, um, and classical laminar theory to come up with equivalent fly properties for the braided material or stitched material in this case. As you can see the screen now shows you the modulus. In plane our E1, E2 are equal and out of plane because of the threads or fiber in the out of plane direction is increased significantly. Uh, it also predicts the strength for you stress strain curves from all the loading in different directions for shear, tension and 5 in plane. If you entered with thermal properties you can click on thermal expansion, electrical properties you can click on electrical conductivity and so on. It will predict those properties for you. Okay. <clears throat> 